Sports from KYMA News 11. Boys soccer gets another stiff test. Welcome back, everyone. The Raiders are looking to prove themselves after a recent tough loss to number one San Luis tonight. They would seek to knock off the number four Chandler Wolves. It was a chilly night at Raider Field. It's head coach Brian Claudio and company ready for tonight's battle royale between these two elite state powers. Second half, Osvaldo Fuentes Jr. sets for Luis Lopez, but the potential scoring play was broken up by the defender. This sets up a corner kick by Jimmy Quintero as the ball is deflected to the other end with Adrian Canez setting for Mario Rodriguez, who's going to take this top shelf shot. But the keeper comes up with a nice save. Match still scoreless. Raiders, though, keep pressing off the throw in. Quintero, he's going to get fouled right here. Pretty rough. He would actually get up under his own power. It would then be dished off, as in the free kick, to Fuentes Jr., whose shot is deflected away by a defender. But the Golden Black would eke out a goal and get the huge 1 0 win. They're likely going to move up from their top six ranking. The girls prep soccer at Irv Pallet Field. Seven and four, Maryvale looking to snap their five game winning streak against Santos Rangel and the Kofa Lady Kings midway through the scoreless first half. The Panthers turn it over deep in their zone, and junior striker Bianca Rodriguez fires a shot that sails over the net. Maryvale looking for a breakaway, but the pass is off the mark into the arms of Kofa netminder Autumn Ariola. Moments later, Kofa's Melissa Esquivel with the corner kick that's blocked near the goal. Kofa's going to go on to win this one 2-0 behind goals from Rosalind Ramirez and Dayana Gonzalez. To girls basketball at Rio's gym where Carlos Ambriz and San Luis looking to avenge an early, earlier loss to Kofa. Kofa looking for the series sweep. Early first quarter, junior Ashley Becerra's three-point shot is short, but it's caught underneath by senior Yalette Contreras with a jumper. Moments later, Kofa freshman Amani Montiel slings it to sister Chantel Montiel on the far wing. Chantel gets it done. Next possession, Kofa senior Chile Limon. Love that name. Shows off the defense, thin the steal, turns on the Jets, and goes coast to coast. Sidewinder's answer is Fernanda Aranda. Gives it to Armazzi Sanchez, who dishes to Ashley Becerra, and this time Becerra is dialed in. Her three goes in. This game would go back and forth early, but Kofa is going to pull away late, taking the 36-21 win to sweep the season series. We move on to boys basketball, the Raider Gym, where Cibola would play host to Basha. We go to the second quarter. The Bears showing some great ball movement with Mason Blankenship making the Raiders pay for leaving him wide open, draining the uncontested three ball. Cibola falling into a big hole. And then Bennett Myers Wills shows some great passing sequence there that gets to Jonah Ponder hitting the wide open three pointer. Raiders trying to get back into this one. Meyer Wills being the long distance runner leads the break. He's gonna miss the contested layup, but Maddox Harmony gets the board. He's fouled on a shot attempt. And he would take advantage at the free throw line because he's going to knock both of his shots down. Trying to keep Cibola in it. The Raiders would fight hard, but they were outgunned tonight, taking the 59-38 to loss. Last but certainly not least, we take you to the Palace as head coach Kurt Weber and the Yuma Criminals getting a tough test in Paradise Honors. First quarter, Isaac Lopez gets the rock to Timmery Patterson who spins right in front of the defender, gets a tough shot to go in off balance. Very nice indeed, 4-2, to two, crims down. A few minutes later, you're about to see a well-timed lead-in pass to Reggie Antone, who gets the right bounce at the rim, come up with a deuce, but the crim still falling into a big deficit. The Panthers would make it bigger. Chris Ball movement would end with an easy dunk by Jason Hunt. Yuma would suffer the dominating defeat. And finally, the Olympic countdown is now in the home stretch. The Winter Olympiad begins February 3rd. That's 13 days from now with the opening ceremony on the 4th. And you can only catch the action right here on News 11. All right, we're done with this round of sports.